So anyone who's a fan of the NFL is probably aware of the situations going on right now with the league. But I thought, why not discuss some of the things that are happening right now without getting into too much stuff because a lot of it is very, very touchy and sensitive and for good reason. But it's a shame right now. It's a shame. Coming out of week two. Yes, only week two. Coming out of week two. There is very little discussion about NFL games, and there was very little discussion about the games going into them, and that is not a good thing for the NFL. The reason for that is the crisis that's going on outside of the game, off the field, and right now it's centered around domestic abuse and uh, child abuse, which, oh, I, I can't even say it. They're just two horrible, horrible topics to discuss, and I don't know, it's just... I'm just still trying to wrap my head around it. So starting, of course, with Ray Rice, everybody's heard about what happened. Most people have probably seen the video and it is awful. Absolutely terrible. That is something that cannot be in the NFL. And right now, I'm questioning Roger Goodell. The Associated Press reported that the NFL was given the tape. They even have a voicemail of a woman who works for the NFL saying she got it. Now, I don't know how in the world Roger Goodell would not see the video if the NFL had it. That makes no sense. I have a hard time believing he didn't see it either way, no matter what, because it's the NFL. How can you not acquire that tape if TMZ can acquire it? With that being said, I think two games either way is false, is wrong. Like, that's too little. The original penalty was too little if Roger Goodell had the suspicions that this was going on. And now that he's been suspended indefinitely, it's just, it's a bad look for the NFL. They need to get the dis domestic abuse situation sorted out. And that begins with obviously levying a penalty for people who are caught, which has happened, but also something needs to be done with Roger Goodell because this situation, I really hope more evidence comes out in either way that he did see it or he didn't so we can we can learn the truth because right now he looks real bad. He looks real bad. And the other, abu uh, yeah, the other abuse incident that's going on right now is Adrian Peterson. And this is one that, boy, I, I can't stand to, I can't stand to hear about because AP, I, I still believe I have a hard time believing it now, but I thought he was such an upstanding guy, a great father. And now the pictures have surfaced of the marks on his child and of course the reports that are happening. It is just terrible. I don't know how you, how anyone looks at it other than it's child abuse. I mean, there's something to disciplining your children, your child, your children, but there's also something to going too far. And he admitted to losing control a little bit, but I don't know how a man like Adrian Peterson who's that strong, that powerful, could even risk losing control on his child. It's completely unnecessary and it's terrible. I think he also deserves a heavy, I don't know, a heavy punishment, but again, there's no rules in place. So how are we supposed to determine what his punishment should be? But the biggest two things coming out of these two incidents are the fact that the NFL is gonna start losing money. And already today, uh, Anheuser-Busch or whatever you call it, pulled their sponsorship as did uh, some Nike stores in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. They pulled uh, some Adrian Peterson ads. And if this starts to happen, this is big trouble for the NFL. And I'm not suggesting that the NFL should levy punishments towards these men and put in rules just to afford losing a dollar or two. But you got to realize that this is affecting so much more than just the players and the people involved. It is so much bigger than that. And Roger Goodell needs to learn this and needs to put in some rules. And speaking of rules, uh, the drug substance abuse policy, um, I'm not 100% sure if it has been changed yet, but there's rumors that it will be changed and that there will now be HGH testing, which is a very good thing because the chances that people use it in the NFL is probably high. And also that players such as Josh Gordon uh, and guys who, who were tried before might have their suspensions reduced. And no matter what you think of the whole weed smoking thing and if it's bad or not you know whatever your opinions are on that fact of the matter is josh gordon broke the rules four times and he was caught four times so for that i've been i've been not a fan but i've been in support of the fact that he was suspended for a year i understand there's addiction issues and you know the reliance issues on this kind of stuff but you have one job in the nfl you're gonna sacrifice millions just to have another smoke i just don't understand so that's why i think the drug rules I had no problem with them before and the fact that they're getting reduced now seems a little bit counterproductive but I do like the fact that uh, heavy emphasis is being put on helping players helping guys who have struggles so that is good that's a positive right now 
But boy, the NFL needs to get their stuff together because if we go another four or five weeks without even talking about the games, when all the discussion is about Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, Greg Hardy, uh, McDonald, all these guys, you know, it, it's not a good look at all. And I have no suggestions. I don't know. It's hard to do anything outside the realm of the judicial system. If the, if the government, if the law is not going to punish these guys, it's hard for the NFL. But I think for too long, the NFL has just taken a step back and said, well, domestic abuse, that is, that's their problem. That's for the husband and wife or the girl and guy to decide. And they can't anymore. It's making it look bad for the league. It's setting a terrible example. Whether these guys want to be or not, they are role models for children. And I don't like the excuse that, oh, I'm here to play football and get paid. I'm not here to be a role model. Well, you know what? I think if you're getting paid $5 million at the minimum to play a sport, to play what you love, you know what? You are a role model and you need to embrace that. I know it's not voluntary, but I think you at least got to keep your, keep your actions private. That's why I'm a big fan of Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch on the Seattle Seahawks because Russell always says the right thing and he's a great man and he's always at the children's hospital, that kind of thing. That's how you be a role model. And for Marshawn Lynch, he had troubles earlier in his career in Buffalo, very bad troubles, but he has learned. He's not speaking anymore. He doesn't do these things. He keeps quiet. So that's all I got for you this time, guys. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you think of these issues and it's a, it's a tough one. So have a good one, boys.